There are three sections in the present paper and each section has 10 questions. First section only has multiple choice questions and two marks will be awarded for each correct answer. For each wrong answer, 0.5 marks will be deducted. Any unattempted question in the section will be treated as a wrong answer. Each question in the second section carries three marks, whereas each question in the third section carries five marks. For any wrong answer or unattempted question in the second and third sections, no marks will be deducted. A student score is the addition of the marks obtained in all three sections. What is the sixth highest possible score? Now we are given that there are three sections, section 1, section 2, section 3. Now in section 1, a right answer carries plus 2. A wrong answer or an unattempted question carries minus 0 0.1. Right. Now, the second section, a correct answer gets me 3, but a wrong answer doesn't is not going to detect any marks from me. Similarly, third section has 5 marks awarded for a right question and 0 marks detected for wrong or unattended question. Done. So, this is going to be our marking type. Now, what will be the highest possible score in all three sections put together? Now, if I notice the first section, if I get all the questions right, you will be awarded 20. The second section, you get all 10 right, you get 3 into 10, that's 30. 10 into 5 gives me 50. So, the highest mark that we can get is 100. So, the highest possible mark is going to be 100. Now, the question is, sixth highest possible score. When am I going to look for the other marks when something goes wrong in any other sections? Now, the second highest score should be missing out on the least possible marks, right? Now, if I say, in section 1, it is plus 2 and minus 0 0.5. Second section, it is plus 3 and 0. And third section, it is going to be plus 5 and 0. Now, if one question goes wrong in the first section, you are going to get minus 0.5 and you are also losing on these two marks. So, you are not technically getting the two marks that you are supposed to get and you are also losing out on 0.5 as negative marks. So, if one question goes wrong or if you don't answer one question, you lose minus 2.5. Similarly, in the second section, you are not having any negative marking here, but you technically miss out on these three marks. The third case, it's going to be minus 5, similar. Now, I know that the highest mark is 100. Now, what will be the second highest mark? The one who gets the second highest gets he loses out on the least possible mark that he can. Now, all the three I can clearly see he is missing out on this 2.5. So, that means he is going to get 97.5. And what is the next least mark that he can miss out? If he can miss out on 2.5, the other one can miss 3. So, this person can get 97. Now, look at what is the next least mark that I can do. He misses one question over here. Or he misses two questions over here. Both cases, this person, a person can lose around five marks. So that means the fourth highest mark is going to be 90. What is going to be the fifth highest mark? Now here, a student can miss out on one question from section one, one question from section two. That loser, that student will lose out on 5.5 marks, or the student gets 94.5. What is going to be the sixth highest mark? Which other two combinations is going to be just more than 5.5? You notice that a student can lose out on two questions in the second section, thus losing out on six marks. That means the person gets 94. That's all. This is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Sixth highest possible marks that a student can get is 94. So the answer option is option.